1965 Galtieri again in my kitchen this time cooking some chicken pasta with garlic and butter and all that good stuff so let's get started I have been peeling a whole clove of garlic a whole what's it called bulb of garlic and I just want to um, chop the little ends off of it now. I got my chicken that I cooked, my boiled chicken, which is um, just boiled. And if you see my previous videos or my video on how to cook chicken, this is some of the chicken that I cooked. Um, and then I can the broth. This is the broth that I made. It's still on the counter. Anyway, um, what I'm doing is cutting off the very end of the garlic bulb. Just doing that because I just don't like those little ends. Some of the little kinds of things like that. Cut all these off. Um, sweetie's down there. Hi, sweetie. Maybe he's down there in case something drops, he can get it. He'll get it. A free a free treat. Yep, but he doesn't like I don't know if he likes garlic though. I dropped a piece of garlic paper and he I think he ate it. <laughs> he's silly. It's like he'll eat anything. He take him for a walk and he'll eat anything off the ground and all that stuff. It's really weird. He's a silly dog. Aren't you silly boy, huh? You silly boy. Yeah, he's always hungry. So I'm gonna cut these into like little pieces like this. So it'll cook kind of fast. Kind of like little pieces like like that. It doesn't matter if they're a little bit bigger too. You just want to cut it. Doesn't have to be small. Just let's get it cut so that the garlic flavor comes through. You know, like the inside of the garlic. Comes through. And you know that you I don't know what I'm talking like. shouldn't talk. <laughs> maybe I should, maybe I shouldn't. Okay, now I get rid of these little ends. That's a whole bowl of garlic, which is like probably like eight to ten uh, garlic cloves. I've got some baby argula tenderly with a hint of pepper. I'm gonna use this in this. I got some pre-cooked pasta. We had this last night um, with some flounder and I wish I would have recorded making my dinner last night. That was good. About a uh, half a stick of butter. Take that if you can. I can't pick it up. This is just gonna be a nightmare. Okay. There we go, put it in your saute pan, if you can, and jeez, come on, this is ridiculous, have you ever seen anything like this? Okay, that, garlic, and put it on medium high, Thank you. 
get the mask I'm gonna put in there. Sweepy's football. He found his football, it was hidden. Now it's on in the way. Isn't it, huh? Is that your football? Okay, here we go. I'm up to like almost high. See that? Butter and saute them early. Okay. What I'm going to do is take some um, um, chicken broth, homemade chicken broth, which was the leftover chicken broth from when I can the other day. It's very um, gelatinous, which is shows that it's really good. Like if it's like this, like jello kind of, you know that it's really good because um, it's got a lot, it's got gelatin from the bones actually, from the chicken bones. So I learned that when I was studying a lot of um, cooking on, in my Cooking phase, more, um, this is extra virgin olive oil, I'm gonna put some pepper in there, black pepper. You know, play it by ear, put what you want in there, and let it saute a little bit. I want the butter to burn, though, so I'm gonna turn it down. I want your butter. I want your butter to burn. You just want your, it to be kind of a low, medium temperature. Your garlic starts to cook. It's that flavor. Okay. Check that out. Because once it starts, the garlic starts to brown a little bit. I'm gonna add my chicken broth. If you haven't ever done this before, I'm just, I'm just doing this for the first time, kind of throwing stuff together. And you want your garlic to saute a little bit, but probably won't get a chance to once you put your chicken broth in there, so that's perfect. Probably just a few minutes saute time. See that? Medium heat. Keep stirring it. It's perfect. Okay. And my chicken broth, which is about a pint. That's what it is a pint. Exactly a pint.
pasta into a big old bowl. And it's cold, so I'm gonna take the sauce mixture and chicken and all that and dump it in with it. And then microwave it to, if it's not hot enough. I'm just gonna microwave it all together. Then it will be done. This is it. Um, I know it doesn't look that appetizing, but it really is, tastes good. Um, there's lots of flavor in there. You can take the curry, the garlic, even the chicken and everything. But um, what you want, might want to do is that you can serve it with some cheese, like Parmesan cheese would be really good on it, or any kind of cheese, and um, and you know garlic bread or whatever. We're just keeping it simple because we're trying to like be semi-conscious of our health or whatever but you know can really dress this up if you want to but um it's good just the way it is like almost like a casserole style all right well thanks for watching if you have any questions please let me know please subscribe down below and like and share for more videos thank you take care have a great day bye bye